Hi guys, Transport RC here. In today's video, I'll be doing an indoor flight test and a battery test on the MJX X103W. To speed this video up, I have sped up the video to four times speed. So, so the manufacturer claims around 14 minutes of flight time with no wind. So for this test, I did it indoors in my basement for the most accurate results. To make this test realistic, I didn't just hover the drone, I flew it around the basement and also turned on the landing lights a few times and the drone was in speed mode 1. So for the flight characteristics of the drone, they were really nice. The drone was very responsive and hovered well even though it didn't have an optical flow sensor. One of the things that I really liked about the drone was how there were no jerky movements made by the drone at all so I felt like I was in full control of the drone in the tight space. In addition, I was very surprised on how bright the landing lights were. It seems weird on why MJX would add landing lights to a toy brake drone. It basically just drains the battery of the drone so yeah that's pretty weird but still a cool feature to have. At 9 minutes and 15 seconds, the lights of the drone started to flash red, which meant that the drone had low battery. If the drone was flying outdoors and had a GPS lock, then it would start returning to home if it was far away from the home point. If the drone was close to the home point, then it would have a geofence. The geofence would only let the drone fly out around 30 meters from the home point. At 11 minutes and 30 seconds, critical low battery level was activated. This meant that the drone would land automatically without the pilot's discretion. So the MJX X103W got a final time of 11 minutes and 49 seconds. That was shy of the manufacturer's claim of 14 minutes, but I was expecting around 11 to 12 minutes from the battery. The manufacturers always like stretch their flight time claim so 14 minutes would have been a stretch also I was very happy with the flight characteristics of the drone it was very stable indoors didn't really move a lot move a lot and it was very very responsive to the controls that I gave the drone gave me confidence when I flew it so that is what you want if you are a drone pilot confidence when you fly the drone so that is all for today's video, thank you guys for watching this video, I'll be doing more tests on this drone so stay tuned, um, I'll be doing some outdoor battery tests, some flight tests outside, range tests on this drone, so a lot of tests. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel, hope you guys have a great day.